One of the easiest ways to collect student work, either remotely or in face-to-face, -face, is to use the third column in the workspace. This way, you can push out learning activities for students, all right, and you would pull directly from your drive. So for example, I can click that, grab an assignment, and now the students has access to that document. I can choose whether I'm going to do a copy per student or copy per group. I can have a schedule start date, which is the day that this card will be vis visible to students. So I'm good with that being today. And I can also select a due date. I can choose whether it's going to go to all groups or just individual groups. And then I click done. Students then will see this card and they'll see the little start button, which indicates this is a new activity. As a student, I'm ready to get started on an activity. Here is the work that I have to do. And I know I have to work on it because there's a little start button that's that I can press here. So here I go, start. This is going to open this document in a new tab. It also allows me to be the editor, but my teacher still owns the document. Because I've started, I now have a submit button. If I'm unhappy with the work, I may use the trash can button, which means that I'm going to get a fresh new assignment when I click on this later. So sometimes students may accidentally press this button and erase their work. Now that I'm finished my assignment, I'm going to hit submit. It's not 100% necessary that students hit submit because you as the teacher can submit on behalf of the student but it's a good practice for you to get into and for the students to get into so that you have that data on your workspace. So I'm gonna send my work to teacher and that's it. Click here. and need to sign in with Google. Students click their name. They may have to include their password, but then they'll be brought directly to dashboard. They can work through this so here's the workspace that is available to the student. They'll click on it, sign in with Google as required. Ensure that it says allow. and you can see that they have access to the information. So this student's going to start this activity here. So they hit the start button. And you can see that there's a pop-up blocker. So I'm going to click here and I'm gonna make sure I say always allow. This is the only time you have to do this with a pop-up blocker. Now hit done. I'm gonna click on this one more time and now it will open.